Wagwan. So it's about two months now since I moved out to Berlin. I'm in Germany. One of my biggest questions about moving was uh, bringing my guitars with me. Now flying with guitars, you pretty much have two options. One, you can put them in the hold with all the other suitcases, which will uh, make this happen. <gasps> Or two, you can buy an extra seat on the plane and snuggle it up next to you, all nice and cozy. Now the problem with this, obviously, is plane tickets are pretty damn expensive. So that got me thinking, what if I was to buy a new guitar out here for the price of a plane ticket? Cause I'm fucking clever, you see. So you're about to witness the airplane seat versus guitar challenge. It's like I'm on fucking Top Gear or something. Okay. Right, so here we are, Ryanair, our lord and saviour. You cheap bastards. And we're gonna go look for some cheap ass flights. So I'm gonna look at the month of December and from here we're gonna be able to get the uh, get the budget of our new guitar. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take all these ticket prices, add them up and divide by the uh, number of days. Check my C in higher level maths, boys. <laughs> So that gives us our budget of about 109 euro. Now the next step is actually finding a guitar. I'm going to be using uh, Toman.da because their prices are fire. And look at that, a guitar for exactly 109 euro. What, what a coincidence. No, actually, I uh, I did research before I started filming this and uh, this guitar really stood out to me. It looks really, really good. I mean, look at that. Look at the specs on that. It's basically like buying one of those um, Mini Martins, like the Ed Sheeran ones, except uh, you don't have to look like a wanker for using Ed Sheeran's guitar. I mean, it's smaller scale, but at its heart, it really is a travel guitar, but not too small. Like, it's just a parlor. You're still going to get a good sound out of this. I mean, you have a mahogany body, like, you can't really go too wrong with that. Except the fingerboard is Blackwood. Have you ever heard of Blackwood? I haven't heard of it. <laughs> it's like if Aldi did Ebony. But yeah, this looks to be a really solid guitar. So smash that order button. That's all you're off. So let's wrap this thing up. I'm gonna give you all the pros and cons and uh, give you my thoughts on all this thing. Pros? That is a banging guitar. <laughs> that plays nicer than the majority of my acoustics at home. Back in Ireland, I got a Takamini G series and being honest, that puts it to shame. Home in Chinese factories, oof, they're pumping out 
quality. Round of applause for the Chinese factories there, please. Round of applause for prices of labour there, please. Thank you. I honestly can't believe how good that guitar is for 109 euro new with the pickup. It's just madness. Madness. And the best thing about this is I can sell this at the end of the year and make most of my money back. Your boy Scrooge likes that. Thinking about the cons, I suppose if you have very specific requirements in guitar, and you're not just like me, like all I wanted to do was have an acoustic to play around on and sing with and that's all I want for the year. Pickup is handy there if I want to do a bit of recording as well. But if you can only live with like a custom acoustic which has 14 gauge strings, specific cut nut and uh, banjo pegs, then uh, this mightn't be for you. But I mean, who does that? <laughs> So Ryanair, apologies, but uh, you won't be getting more cash out of me for another airplane seat ticket because my boy Thoman sorted me out. So big ups to Thoman and uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you enjoyed. I feel like such a prick for saying that. It's like, oh yeah, I'm a YouTuber. Yeah, like and subscribe, guys. <laughs> but no, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Good luck.